Hi, Bob. Um, first of all, your uh, overall thoughts on today's uh, game, particularly from an offensive standpoint, and now being faced with a potential elimination game. Yeah, I mean, we've Giolito was good. You know, we knew he'd be tough. You know, looking at uh, some of his previous outings, you could get his pitch count up a little bit, foul some balls off and make them work, and that was kind of the plan, but didn't didn't work out that way for us. You know, he, he was on it right away, threw strikes, kept us off balance, threw his changeup and his slider. He pitched really well. Uh, could you discuss the two mistakes Lizardo made, particularly the, you know, the 0-2 fastball to Engel, and then, you know, the 2-0 pitch with first base open with the for Abreu? Yeah, he just centered some balls that, you know, they hit hard. You know, he, he he had pretty good stuff. He had five strikeouts. He didn't walk anybody early on. You know, wasn't getting strike one. Was getting the one-one counts to get back ahead. But when he when he threw the ball down the middle of the plate, they had some good swings. Is, is that maybe a good spot to to put a Bray on, especially once you're two zero? What's that now? I didn't hear that. With a two zero count to a Bray on first. No, I mean. If you see where Murph was setting up, you know, he, he didn't want it there. So he, he just missed on that pitch. Melissa Lockhart. Sorry. Given how comfortable they looked against left-handers, you know, especially early in the game, does that change your thinking if there is a game three at all? It does some, yeah. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll we still, we need to get past tomorrow. Then we'll think, think about game three, but we knew going in, you, I mean, we could see the numbers. Um, I'm not sure that they had, they faced too many guys that threw, you know, with the velocity that Lazardo did, but they had a good approach on them across the board. So, you know, we'll still, tomorrow's, tomorrow's a game we need to win first. Curtis Pashoka. Uh Bob, you know, Chris Bass has been terrific for you guys for, for most of the year here. Obviously, is it fair to say that, you know, you have a lot of faith in him to, to get this to a game three? We do. He's pitched great all year. You know, the lined up F, you know, for five uh, for game two. Obviously, game two is a very important game regardless. So we need to go out there and win tomorrow. And we feel, you know, our best shot is with him at this point, at least the way he's pitched recently and probably consistently over the course of the season. Matt Kawahara. Hey, Bob, you guys had to cover a lot of innings uh, with the bullpen today. Um, Minus Wendell, can you feel like everybody else is going to be available tomorrow? Yeah, you know, it, it's once the once the postseason comes around, these guys will be able to pitch three days in a row. So, you know, we're just trying to keep it as close as we possibly can. Bullpen did, did a great job. Obviously, Wendelkin did a fantastic job. You know, less maybe Wendelkin tomorrow, we still feel like we have a, a full bullpen. Susan Slusser. Bob, you've talked a lot this year about how well your team responds to adversity and particularly kind of battle-hardened after a season like this. How do you feel like they will respond? Well, we have no choice tomorrow. So, but that, that's the way we've been here for a while now. So, you know, we, we wanted a series. We lost the first game of it. Now it's, now it's time for us to respond tomorrow. We're going to have to do more offensively. Uh, you know, we, we can't score one run and think that, you know, we're going to win tomorrow and put that much pressure on our starters. So, uh, offense, we have to show up. We have pretty good numbers off left-handed pitching, too. Our record's good off lefties as well. So hopefully that plays out for us. How, how much does this remind you uh, of maybe some of the last two wild card games with falling behind early and then just not quite being able to catch up offensively? I, you know what? I didn't even consider it. You know, we knew we were up against a tough pitcher. We're trying to wear him out a little bit. Hopefully as the game went along, uh, he, he, you know, he, we, we get some pitches to hit. We really didn't. So, you know, we had the one opportunity and just couldn't get couldn't get more, um, unfortunately. Matt Kawahara. The early starts obviously um, affect what you can do before the game in terms of pregame work, but are you going to do anything differently, change anything up in terms of potentially hitting on the field, anything like that? I, I you know, we'll, we'll talk about it. I don't know that any, something like that is going to make a difference today. You know, we, we, we hit in the cage plenty of times in early games over the course of the season. We've hit taken BP for 60 games this year. It's more about our approach and, and getting some results offensively during the game. Pre-game's not really, doesn't really going to have anything to do with it. Thank you, Bob.